glory to God's word. But there's a beautiful story in, in the, the first chapter of the first book of Samuel about a mother that wanted a son, a lady who had no children, and she just wanted to be a mother. And she said, Lord, if you'll just give me a son, I'll just give him back to you. And so God answered her prayer. Said, this lady's not asking for anything that, that, uh, that is unreasonable. I'm going to give her a son. And he did. And she named him Samuel. And the day that she weaned him, she took him to the temple and gave him to the priest to serve the Lord for his entire life. And during the time that she was praising the Lord for, for this child, she said these words. These were just part of what she said. There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our God. And I was moved by this, and, and, and I, I, I reached, I was parked under a tree waiting for my Aunt Thelma, who was visiting the doctor, and, and I got in the glove box and got my paper and pen and, and, and wrote these words, and I call it, The Rock. My vessel drifted helplessly, tossed by an angry wind. No hope in sight to save me on this wretched sea of sin. My sails were torn, my rudder gone. Life's storm had took its toll. I could not steer or plot a course. I had lost all control. Is there upon this angry sea a place of rest and peace? If so, how can I find it? Will this tempest ever cease? Thought I, no hope remains except to call upon the Lord, for he alone can save me now. Tis written in his word. And then I cried aloud, O oh God, please come and rescue me. Speak, peace be still. I know your voice can calm this raging sea. In great compassion, he looked down in pity from above. The winds were stilled, the sea was calm and peaceful as a dove. And when my eyes were opened and I could clearly see there at my hand the haven of rest he made for you and me. He steered my battered vessel to the safety of the dock. Yes, I was home, safe from the storm. Praise God, I found the rock. Amen. I 
I yielded myself to his tender embrace and faith taking hold of the word my fetters fell off and I anchored my soul the haven of rest is my Lord I've tempest may sweep o'er the wild stormy deep in Jesus.